everyone welcome back in this video we are going to see how we can hide our original ip address while using the evergenix and we are going to do this using the cloudflare okay so without wasting time let's get into the video but before starting the video here is a quick disclaimer that uh, this video is only for educational purpose don't misuse this knowledge if you are going to misuse this knowledge then i'll be not responsible for your actions okay so let me open my server right here so i have already created this server and i have already uploaded the source code on the server now remember the source code i am going to use here it's not the original source code from the github this source code has been modified by me okay to suit this particular uh, usage so now let me do one thing let me open new terminal right here and let me do uh, curl and ipconfig.io okay so why we are doing ipconfig.io because we need to create the dns record so this will return the the ip address of this particular server or public ip address of this particular server now let me go to the dns and in the dns i am going to open the cloudflare right here so can you see i have this domain 1yt.1 and in the dns record i don't have any records as of now so let me create a one record so I'm going to say at and I'm going to paste my IP address and I'm going to turn off the proxy. Now see, in the beginning of the video, I have said that we are going to hide our IP address. But you might say, why we are turning off the proxy? Because this is step number one. We are going to turn back on this proxy once we uh, complete the initial setup. So please watch the video. Okay, so let me save this one. Let me create one more record which will say everything. And then again, we will paste our IP address and let me save it. And the proxies will be off on both of the uh, domain name or both of the record you can say. Okay, so right now let's minimize the Cloudflare and let's try to start the Evilgenix. So if I do ls right here, you will see the Evilgenix directory. So let's cd into Evilgenix and do ls one more time. So here you will see the Evilgenix binary. Now, in order to use the custom SSL certificate and hide our IP address, we need to make sure that we enable the Evilgenix into the developer mode. So let me do dot slash Evilgenix2 and dash devloper, which will enable the developer mode. Now, I have already done initial setup like the fishlet and the host name and enabling the fishlet and everything. So I'm not going to repeat that. I'm just going to continue from this one. Okay. So let me do loss. And you will see my URL. So let me just say loss get uh, URL ID number zero, and it should show me URL. Now let me copy this particular link and open the browser and paste it here. So let me say Firefox browser, and we are going to paste this particular link here. Okay. So hence we are using developer menu. We will get this warning very first time that potential security risk ahead because we are using self-signed certificate at this moment okay i will say advanced and i will say accept risk and continue okay and one more time i will say same thing and it will open the website okay and this is just a temporary thing that we supposed to do the very basic thing and we have to do only first time okay great so once we load the website it will create one directory inside the dot uh, evil Genix folder which is dot cert okay so that's the directory. If you click on the dot cert, it will show you the uh, folder name with the domain name. Firefly.in is the original domain name which I am using in the Evilgenix. Okay. So that's why it has created this particular host right here. And inside that there is a cert.pem and key.pem is created. Okay. And that's the certificate as of now the browser is using. Now we are going to make some changes in this particular uh, process. What we are going to do is we are going to uh, back into the Cloudflare and here we are going to click on the first of all each record and enable the proxy. Okay, because we need to hide our IP address. We are going to enable these proxies. So though both of the proxies are enabled, then we will go to the SSL TLS record. In this particular configuration right here, we will click on the configure and here we will select the mode full strict mode okay full strict mode and let me save it so once we complete that 
then there is a in the ssl drop down there is a one uh, certificate type called origin certificate we need to click on that origin certificate and here we need to type create certificate and this will create certificate for us okay now here we can enter our domain name also if you want to be specific or we can just generate wildcard certificate so in my case i'm going to generate wildcard certificate which will be uh, valid for all records literally all domains right all do uh, server so, so domains under my domain so let me click on the create and it will give me the certificate and it will give me the private key let me copy the certificate go back here and remember that we have already saw the directory where the certificate is created so we are just going to replace that certificate with our certificate and save the file and same thing we are going to do with the private key so let me just copy right here go back right here and do the same thing with the key so first i'm going to delete the existing one and paste mine okay now we are ready to go now let me just exit from the evilgenix and let me restart the evilgenix so once we restart the evilgenix let me copy the same link that uh, we created before and this time i'm going to open the browser and paste this particular link into the browser and that's supposed to give us the valid ssl certificate but it is saying not secure for some reasons okay so i found the issue issue was uh i was trying too quickly so once we change the record type from non-proxy to the proxy we have to wait at least five minutes okay now the five minutes has been done and i can just open the browser one more time and paste the link right here and uh, as you can see it is turning green completely green it is not showing any warning and the website is also loading that means the fishlet is also working evogenics is also working completely fine so this is taking little bit time to load because i am using the vpn that might be the one reason but if i go here can you see the evogenix is working completely fine and let me do one thing quickly remove all of this path and go to the base domain and let me see if the uh, our proxy site or the evogenix site is loading or not okay so our evogenix site is also loading it is showing the uh evogenix proxy website that we have created and if you want to see the original website then it's a firefy.in okay this is the original website and this is the evogenix website that we have created and can you see it is showing the secure also and if you try to check the ip address of this particular website let me show you that also then it will not show the ip address of this server how we can check the ip address of the website you can type the command called dig and then we can paste the host name of the website or any domain name related to the website domain name okay and that will see if the ip is getting leaked or not okay so let me hit enter and can you see these are the ip addresses it is showing but if you want to check my original ip address of the server then you can do call ipconfig.io and that will show you the original ip address which is 198.199 uh, and whatever it is and here it is showing different ip address right so that means it is hiding our original ip address and yes this is how you can achieve that now about the source code if you want to find the source code then it is uh, you will find the link in the description if you click on that particular product you will find source code in it okay so yeah that's all in this particular video if you have any question please let me know by the way let's do one thing let me open the firefox one more time and let me just paste that particular link one more time and let me see how it uh, looks like okay in the firefox also uh, the dns has updated now and it is showing connection is secure and everything is done and ip is also hidden okay so if you have any question you can ask the question on the fluxset.com where already a lot of people has already asked hundreds of the questions so you can learn from their question also or you can add your own question and get the answer from the community and me so yeah that's all in this particular video thanks for watching and see you in the next